Good evening, Jennifer, Andrea. It's nice to see you over here. We're going to wait a couple of minutes so that uh, everybody can get there. Okay, Eliana, it's over here. Okay, do me the favor to activate your cameras. Thank you, Eliana. Okay, let's wait a little bit. I have three participants. Yeah, I think you are like 18, right? Let's wait a little bit. Well, uh, how's everything, Eliana? Uh, so far, so good, teacher. And you? So far, so good. Okay, that's fantastic. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Did you finish all the activities in the platform? Um, I finished the midterm exam. All right. So that's what we're going to have a review on tonight. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you will see. Hello, Adriana. Welcome, Andrea. Jonathan, welcome. To be the favor to activate your cameras, please. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Catherine. Okay, welcome, Catherine. Okay, Adriana, Gretel, Jennifer, Andrea, Jonathan, do me the favor to activate your camera. Miguel, welcome. Welcome back. Adriana said, hello, teacher. Because, oh, oh, I'm sorry to know about it, Adriana. I'm sorry, I hope your baby gets better soon. Francisco, welcome back. Hey, good evening, everybody. Good evening. That's really nice to see you in a class again. Thank okay, you. I have two, four, five, six, seven, eight people and still uh, waiting for. Okay, but anyways, we're gonna start as soon as possible. Well, um, tonight we have uh, already decided we have already decided what to do. What's the, what is the activity for tonight? What are we gonna do tonight? Uh, tonight we are doing a um, review needs midterm. That's right. We're gonna have a review on the midterm. Um, okay, Adriana, I will take it into consideration. Thank you very much for let me know about the situation. Okay, so just say two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people and still waiting for the rest. Okay. Yeah, you know, we're gonna we're gonna work in the midterm, right? So in order to work on that, we're gonna have different activities. We're gonna answer, okay. Hello, Jancy. Welcome back, Jancy. Hello, everybody. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Good night. Okay, good evening, good evening. Uh, good evening, see, good evening. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start as soon as possible because we have a lot of uh, work to do. Let me see if I can share the information with you now. Oh. People are chatting. Jonathan say hello to everybody. He is commuting to his home. And okay, we got it, Jonathan. Oops, well, give me one second. This is for intermediate. This is this is yours. This is yours, yeah. Brain comprehension intermediate. Yeah, over here. Okay, we're gonna start with the listening. Oh, okay. And what in this listening activity, we're going to have a dictation practice. Okay. Uh, so how come, teacher? Well, we're gonna listen to the conversation. 
okay, between Lisa and Peter. And they're talking about vacation time. You are gonna listen and you will check the correct answer. That is the first part. Now, the second one is that we are going to have a dictation practice because uh, uh, I will play, I will play the track and then you are gonna type what you listen to, okay, in the chat. Do you get it? Uh, no, not for me. Uh... Not really. Okay, first off, we're gonna listen to the audio. Okay. We're going to answer. Okay, we're going to answer what we have here. Ah, got the this. second activity is going to be like a dictation practice. Ah, okay. I will play the track and you are going to type as many sentences as possible. All right? All right. Thank you. Now, right now, only listen to the audio. Okay, listen to it carefully. And I know that you have been working on this part and I know that you have already finished this part, but that's why we are gonna have something different, okay? Uh, we're gonna listen to it, you are gonna provide the answers and then we're gonna have like a dictation practice. Here we go. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Let's start at one, a two and a three. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. So Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No, but I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still loved the trip. All right, so we're going to try to get the whole conversation, okay, and, but right, just right now, we, I want, I want to know about the different, the this different options. What did Lisa, uh, who did Lisa visit? Australia. Australia. Uh, it, it's, it's about a, a country, right? It's not about people. It's about Australia, all right? Yes. Now, how was it with there? But. Oh, really? Was bad. Was bad. And Peter visited Italy. He visited Italy. How was the weather in Italy? Okay. Okay. It was okay. It was okay. good bad. It was okay. It was okay. Okay. We will see, we will see the answers. I know that you have done this exercise before, and let me see. So it. Since you got all of the answers correct, then that means that you have a very clear idea about what is the conversation all about, all right? So what are we gonna do now? I will play the track, okay? Lisa and Peter well, are talking about vacations. Okay. Listen. I will play the track, I will pause the track every single in, at every single sentence, so that you can have the opportunity to type it in the chat or to write it down in a notebook, okay? What, what are we going to do at the end? Vaya, van a ir copiando, pues eso va a ser como un dictado, van a ir copiando. Eh, en un cuaderno, si quiere alguien colocar las oraciones en el chat para ayudarle a los demás, lo pueden hacer, okay? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer al final? Al final yo voy a solicitar parejas para que lean la conversación. Ok, así como la están escuchando, con la pronunciación y todo, pues así quiero que logremos completar el ejercicio. All right? All right. Ok. So, no me van a decir, teacher, uh, could you please repeat? No. 
Entonces, por eso les estoy dando la oportunidad. Si alguien lo escucha muy claro y quiere ayudarle a todos, lo colo coloca la oración en el chat. ¿Ok? Ok. Porque lo voy a repetir una última vez, pero todo el audio de un solo. Here we go. Let us try. Let us try. Okay. Right now, time for you to take notes or to type in the chat. Okay. Let us let us start. Let's see. Okay, now yet. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. Here we go. So Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? Type, type the sentence if you want in the chat. Okay, second one. Here we go. I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Next one. Did you enjoy it? What? Next part. Well, yes and no. That was very easy, right? Let's continue. I wanted to go surfing, but... But, she said, but, and she will continue, okay? Ready. Be ready. The waves were really scary. But the waves were very scary. Next part. It was often very windy. Okay, let's continue. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool. Okay, let's move on. And it rained for two whole days.
All right, keep, try to be 100% concentrated. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? We're almost done, we're at the middle. No, but I visited lots of museums and... Let the museums in. Okay, here we go. I saw some movies. I will play once again, pay attention. So you didn't surf? No, but I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. A lot of museums and so some movies algunas okay let's move on but what about you peter how did you spend your vacation We're almost done. Pay attention. Well, I had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. Okay. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? Pay attention. Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. We're almost done. Remember that I will ask the people to reproduce the conversation. You will listen to it a third time, people. Okay, we're almost done. Second for six. How was the weather? Both good and bad. Both good and bad.
right? The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Okay. Some days were sunny and warm. Perfect. Last part. Perfect for walking. Perfect for walking. That's what he said at the end. Now, yes, we're going to try to finish it. But other days were cold and wet, but I still love the trip. Okay. Did you get the whole message? Who got the whole conversation? Me, teacher. Oh, wow, fantastic day, Bill. Hey, I you know. Just, uh, I just didn't, um, I didn't understand one sentence. That's, that's all. That's all. Okay, don't worry, because we're going to listen to it fully again. Okay, then I will ask, I will ask a boy and a girl to reproduce the conversation and then the activity will be done, okay? I know like dictation times and times tend to be like kind of stressing, but you know, it's very meaningful if we want to learn the English. Okay, we're gonna listen to it the third time so that you can reaffirm what you have gotten in your notebooks, okay? Let me see. The last time. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. So Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No, but I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet, but I still love the trip. Okay, pretty good. So I need, a, I need a, two volunteers. I think David, you already finished, right? Okay, we have, yeah. you, you, you will play the role of, of the guy there, of the boy. And I wonder if there is a lady who wants to perform the conversation with David. Pretty good. We have Ileana there. Okay, David, you, I think you start, right? Okay. Um, so Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and, and then rained for the for whole two days. It's terrible. So you didn't surf? 
No, but I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. Yes, I think so. <laughs> yes. Uh, but what about you, Peter? How do you how do you spend your vacations? Um well I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow, what do you do there? I took a walking trip. I didn't understand that, that sentence. Sorry. Did, did you get it, Ileana? Uh, I have, I took a walk in trip in the Alps. In the Alps, that's right. Very good. Oh, okay. Uh, how was the weather? Both, good and bad. The weather was changing. Uh, the weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days was sunny and warm for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still loved the trip. That was the end? Yes, teacher. Wow. Yes. That was fantastic. Okay. I know the majority of you did it. Sé que la mayoría lo hizo, si no es que todos lo hicieron, pero de igual manera les dejo la primera tarea. Necesito ver ese script en un, en un documento Word, ¿ok? Quiero ver si, si están escribiendo la gramática de manera correcta y también el vocabulario. Eso va a ser para el día lunes, ¿ok? Es lo primero que vamos a hacer, revisar ese script. Okay, very good. I wonder if there are two people, two more people who want to perform the conversation. Si hay alguien más que quiera participar en esta parte del repaso, lo pueden hacer. Si no, continuamos. No more volunteers. Okay, so let's move on. Vamos a, vamos a la, okay, Jancy. Jancy wants to uh, perform the conversation. Now, uh, we need a, another person to help Jansi. Who else wants to help Jansi? It needs to be a boy. Francisco, Jonathan, Nerling. Hello, teacher. Okay, Nerling, very good, Nerling. Help Jansi, please. You start, Nerling. Excuse me, teacher. Are you ready with the with the with the conversation, Nerling? Sí, he escuchado la conversación, me dijo, ¿verdad? Sí, I mean, did, did you take notes? Sí. Ok, so help Jansi, you start with the conversation. Hi, yes, sir. No, a nerling needs. Nerling, think, because it's Peter, the, it's Peter. <laughs> yeah, Peter starts, right? Peter starts. Mm, perdón, es que yo casi no, no lo he entendido muy bien. Ok, Nerling. I, I, ok, so you're not ready yet. Ok, so we're going to do something. In order for, uh, for you to have the opportunity, you are going to perform the conversation on Monday. Ustedes dos van a comenzar la conversación el lunes, ok? Ok, I got it. Va, entonces en, en el caso de Jansi y Nerling, ellos tienen la, la, la tarea de decirnos esa conversación muy bien pronunciada. Y mostrarnos el script. Eso es para todos. Todos tienen que tener el script en un documento Word. Ok, let's move on with the, with the following activity. Ok, in, uh, over here it's a completing exercise. And uh, where you're gonna, we're gonna complete the following conversation. You need to finish up uh, the double H questions words according to the response given. You can choose a long, Good afternoon, well. Okay, so 
What are you gonna do? Well, since we have only 30 minutes more, we're gonna try to uh, advance as much as possible. Uh, what did you get over here? How do you work out? Every day I'm a real fitness freak. How do you complete this question? Ah, go. I, I need to see the answer in the chat. No, Carla. No, no, Carla. You're not gonna send the the, the document, but you need to you need to have it ready for Monday. Si, el lunes qué es lo que va a suceder? No, no me envíen el el script. No. El lunes yo voy a decir quiénes van a mostrar el script. O sea, todos tienen que estar listos, ¿ok? All right. So I, I need to see the answers in the chat. En esta en esta parte no vamos a hablar. Solo quiero que me Que me escriban cuál es la respuesta. Yo la voy a copiar del chat. Y la voy a pegar ahí. Y luego la vamos a, a analizar. ¿Ok? Ok. Francisco says often. I take Francisco's answer. And I get it on here. How often do you work out? Is that right, Francisco? Yes, that's right. Okay, number two, I need to see the answers in the chat, people. How do you play tennis? Ah, okay, so I got Ileana's answer. Now, let me see, who was the first? Who was Andrea, right? Voy a elegir la primera respuesta, was Andrea. Andrea's answer. How well do you play tennis? About average, but I'm getting better and better. Okay, number three. Okay, Andrea, wow. Andrea, once again, very good. He says, how long do you spend at the gym? Just 30 minutes a day, who has the time? Pretty good. And the number four. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Eliana. Okay. Eliana was the first in the chat. Okay. How good are you at soccer? Okay. I guess it's not really my favorite sport. Okay. Now, in the next part, we're going to continue doing so. But uh, over here, you're going to have a multiple choice. It says, complete the conversation, choose the correct past form of the verb, given in parentheses. Now, yes, you're going to speak over here. Ahora sí van a hablar. Van a participar, pero leyendo toda la, toda la, todo el ejercicio. No solo diciéndome la respuesta. Okay. Who wants to participate? Mm. Okay, very good. Go ahead. Okay, uh, the fields are, did you stay home last night? And the answer were, no, I didn't. Did you stay home last night? No, I didn't. This one, right, Francisco? That's right. Okay, very good. Number two, who wants to help me with number two? John C. Chancy? Sorry. I, what is, uh, what did you, what did you do? What did you do? All right. Mm -hmm. What did Very you good. do? What did you do? Number three. Let me see, let me see. I need to see the participants who raised hands. I went. Let me see. David and Jennifer, right? Wants to participate. Okay, this is for David. David, okay. number three, and Jennifer, number four. I went dancing at the new club on 8th Street. Susie and Mike were there too. I went dancing at the new club on 8th Street. Susie and Mike were there too. Okay, went, right? Very good. Now, who's next? Yeah. Oh, really? Yes, we have. 
a great time. Excellent, Jennifer. Very good. Oh, really? Yes, we had a great time. Number five. Number five. No one? Not okay. everybody is in time. Me? Okay, Francisco? Okay, number five. Where, 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 uh, sorry, sorry, where, is where, where, you? Where were you? <laughs> where, where, where were you? you? That's right. I said, uh, lenguas. Yeah, <laughs> tongue twister. Where were you? Where, where are you? Okay, and then number six. Is there anybody who wants to tell us? I was in the laundromat all evening. How Thank boring. You. Thank you, David. I was in the laundromat all evening. How boring. Good. And the last one, people. Actually, no. I met my friend there. We spent the evening laughing and talking. We spent the evening laughing, laughing and talking. Good. All right, we're gonna check. And let us see. Okay, often, well, long, good. All right. Stay, do, went, had, were, was, and spent. You did it. You did it. Okay. What what are we having the review on right now? Simple. Simple past. Yeah, simple this past. is simple past. So we need to be aware of it. Okay. Now remember that you do you 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 have to focus your mind on the three different pronunciation of regular verse in the past. Besides that, you you need to be aware of, uh, or you need to be aware that we have a lot of verbs in English, okay, and you need to memorize as many as possible. Okay, let's move on with the next part. Over here, we have, you know, we have conversations. So we need two people over here. Okay, you are going to choose the, the right answer. And uh, I will ask two people to read the information. The second one. Okay, you say the second one. Who says the second one? David. David. Okay, David. David and Jancy, read the statement, please. David, you start. Excuse me. Is there a gas station near here? Jancy? Yes, there is. There is one around the corner. There's one around the corner, all right. Number two. Well, I will mention the people that I want to participate. Francisco, number two. Francisco and Ileana. Francisco will provide the answer. I know, but this is not a conversation. This is only a question, right? So this is only for Francisco. Uh, okay, number two. How many hotels are there in this neighborhood? Perfect. Hotels. Hotels. Yeah, how many hotels are there in this neighborhood? Number three. Now, Ileana, that's your turn. Uh, there are a few. There are a few. Why not a little, Eliana? Uh, because it's for non-countable. A little is used with non-countable nouns. That's right. So the, the only one we, we have here for countable nouns is a few. There are. Now, number four, that's for uh, knurling. Oh. Mm. Five. Oh, four. Yeah, number four. The four is there. Um, is there much public transportation near here? Is there much public transportation? Here? Why not many, Nerling? 
Hermani. Hermani. Yeah, but why not many? Mm. You can only hear many or one. Mm. Déjame ver. Diminish. No, it's tiene que ser much. Yeah, but why? Why not many? Why not one? Porque Manny está hablando de lo que es contable, creo. Many for countable nouns. Okay. What about public transportation? Um, Is it countable or non countable? Ah, sí, es cierto. It's your money. Now you gotta you 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 gotta be sure about what you're saying. Public transportation is countable or non countable. Is countable. Are you sure? Are you sure? I mean, the your answer is correct, Nerling. Okay. It is correct, okay? The public transportation is, it is not accountable. Now, you can count buses, cars, taxis, but, you know, when you say transportation, there's no countable. Okay. okay. So much is the correct answer, okay? Very Su pregunta good. me puso en duda, pero uh, ya la había resuelto. Yeah, exactly, Nerling. And Nerling, do me the favor to, to speak English uh, fully, okay? I know it's going to be a little bit difficult, but let us try to do so. Okay. Okay, Andrea, number five. Andrea Esmeralda. Um, no, there isn't. Uh, ah, okay, it's not nice a word. You're not sure, okay. Choose, choose one of them, okay? The one that you remember is... Um, any? Any. Okay, so we're gonna check it. We're gonna check it, okay? So we will see if, if we did it. Okay, now the first one is correct. There's one around the corner because we're talking about a gas station, okay? It is countable. Now, the second one, we are talking about hotels and hotels are countable. That's why we chose many. In the third one, we have, there are a few. We, we, we don't have any noun over here, but we know that they are talking about plural because we have, we, we, we have the expression there are. And remember, there are is used for plural, for plural sentences. There is it for singular and for uh, uncountable nouns. Number four, public transportation, narrowing, clarified. Okay, the, the exercise, we, now we know and we assure that public transportation is uh, uncountable. All right, and the number five, Remember that when we have a negative statement, we're gonna use any. We cannot say, no, there isn't one, uh -uh, impossible. No, there isn't none, no, because this is negative and this is negative, so it cannot be that way. So the only one we have here to be used is any. No, there isn't any. Now, do you have any question about this part? Me. Andrea. Lo es en español. Right. Este, en many, um, solo si es una pregunta de WH questions, sería puesto, como how many, o también se puede en otro. You know, the expression that we have learned is about how much and how many, right? Pero en pregunta, solo cuando es how. No, I mean, both are using questions. How much and how many? Las dos se usan en preguntas. How much and how many? Ajá, pero, pero many, la palabra many en sí, o sea, many, esa, ¿se puede usar sin necesidad del how o solo cuando hay how? No, se puede usar cuando usted afirma. 
There are many... Pero en pregunta. No, ahí sí, siempre. Ah. Pero también tenemos just no questions, ¿ok? Are there many, are there many cats in the, in the house? Hay muchos gatos en tu casa, are there. Ahí ya cambia, entonces ahí cambia una yes, no question. Entonces usted dice yes, there are or no, there are. Pero acá es how many. Ya queda abierta. Carla. No sé si le podría servir. Este, no tengo preguntas, sino que una su, no sugerencia, sino que una observación right. para que entienda eh, el, lo poco que yo he entendido, ¿verdad? O oh, right. usted me puede corregir si estoy equivocada. Okay, Aquí la compañera Andrea. <coughs> Many usted lo va a utilizar dependiendo del sujeto, si es contable o no contable, si es pregunta o si es respuesta. Okay. Le digo porque yo, perdón, yo tengo muchos perros. Le digo porque yo este, estaba anotando lo más importante de la plataforma para tenerlo aquí en el cuaderno. Lastimosamente perdí la, la buena costumbre. Ya voy a poner al día otra vez mi cuaderno. Pero este, <risa> eh, eso va a depender el uso de many, any, of, eh, debe, va a depender del sujeto, si es contable o no contable, compañera. Fantastic. Thank Gracias. you, Carla. Okay, now you know. Well, I'm not that allowed to like, like to explain everything in, in Spanish, but if you can help each other, that would be fantastic. Si se pueden ayudar entre ustedes, eso, eso está genial. Me encanta. Thank you, Carla. And let's move on. I don't know. If, uh, well, we're going to continue uh, practicing with this part uh, later because we still have like some more exercises on here. And well, the time is almost over. Now, in a very quick way, people, uh, type the sentences that you have here. You, what are you going to do? You're, you need to put the words in the correct order to make sentences or questions. Okay, so you will see like the, the expressions or the words here, and you need to unscramble, you need to order this, that, that's, that word so that you, we can get a sentence. I need to see the sentences in the chat. Voy a tomar siempre la primera oración que vea en el chat y la voy a colocar ahí. Y luego vamos a ver si la, tem si la tenemos correcta o no. Dinner often to be watched after. Okay, I got Andreas. Andreas answer. Andrea Esmeralda. Okay, so Andrea says, I often, this one needs to be copied out later, right? I often watch TV after dinner in the period. Very good. Now let's move on with the second one, people. In you coffee the that do drink every evening. Francisco, I got Francisco's answer. And Francisco says, do you ever drink coffee in the evening, all right. And in the last one, we have a very dozen Jeff much exercise. I got Jennifer's answer. Okay. Look at what Jennifer typed. It says, Jeff does an exercise very much. Okay, we're gonna see the answers and we'll check if we did it, people. Uh, well, in the first one we have, I often watch TV after dinner, pretty good. Number two, do you ever drink coffee in the evening? Nice, and the number three, Jeff does an exercise very much. So actually, Carla, 
Pero, pero a mí me salen malas las respuestas, solo la de en medio me sale bien. Y, y las mismas respuestas tengo. ¿This one? Eh, sí. O sea, la, solo la número dos me salió buena, de ahí todas las, la una y la tres, malas, pero o sea, es la misma respuesta que tengo. Uh, ok, vale. fíjense bien en algo. Si les está dando problemas la plataforma, puede ser lo siguiente. ¿Se fijaron que al inicio estaba así? Ah, no, sí. Vale. Posiblemente necesitemos colocar la, la letra en mayúscula. Si es mayúscula, eh, nos lo va a solicitar. Si no ponemos el puntito... Creo que también nos lo va a poner eh, con error. Ok. Uh, pero si ustedes se fijan acá, la plataforma incluso no ha tomado en cuenta el punto. Quiere decir que a lo mejor va con punto. O, o sea, la, la plataforma lo va a tomar en cuenta como bueno, con o sin punto. O sea, hay que, hay que, hay que verificar eso. Lo correcto es que tenga el punto. Porque es una oración. Ok. Yes. La segunda sí está bien y la, la tercera lo mismo. Imaginémonos que pusimos Jeff con, con minúscula. Entonces la plataforma no se lo va a poner como malo. Como un error. Ok. So I think this is, this is all. Eh, voy, a, voy a pasar lista, chicos. En lo que ustedes eh, hacen el ejercicio de, de la lectura. Porque todavía tenemos como siete minutos, ok. Aquí hay una lectura, ok. Ya voy a pedirles que me digan qué es lo que ustedes um, hicieron por ahí con esa actividad. Voy a dejar de compartir. Ustedes métanse, porfa, porque necesito ver el listado. Mientras ustedes están leyendo, yo, yo paso eh, lista. Right. Adriana Gretel. Adriana. Andrea Esmeralda. Present. Claudia Jocelyn. Present. David Alonso. Present. Francisco Alexander. Present. Gabriela Guadalupe. Glendy Elisette. Here. Ileana Beatriz. I'm here. Irving. Hiroki. Is Hiroki over here? Is he okay in the class? No, he's not. No, he's not. Uh, Jonathan Vladimir. Jennifer uh, Raquel. I'm here. Okay, Jonathan is not here, right? Uh, Jose Miguel. Okay, Jose Miguel is over here, right? Carla Tatiana. Presente. All right. Catherine Jasmine. Present. Luisa Ariana. Present. Mayra Patricia. Mayra. Nerling. Present. And Jancy. Present. Pretty nice. Okay, I I want to be sure that I took notes in the sure. right way. Tell me. Uh, I am here, <laughs> Jonathan Salinas. Sorry. Jonathan Salinas. Give me one second, Jonathan. Yes. Ah, yeah. okay. Now we correct now. Ya corregí, Jonathan. Okay, now what about, uh, well, Adriana Gretel, Gabriela Guadalupe, Hiroki and Mayra Patricia. Okay, I'm Teacher, done. Adriana, done. Adriana puso presente. Adriana Grete. Ah, she's, she's, she's active in the chat. Okay, very good. Thank you. Gracias, chicos. 
Okay, very good. Now I think I'm done with it. Now, let's see. Let's see what's going on with the, I will share again. All right, this is this is like the letter, right? Now did you read did you read the letter? Yes, I am. Okay, so you have you have one humble, right? So far. Tienen una tarea hasta el momento. ¿Quién se recuerda cuál es? Escribir el audio en la primera Fantastic. That's the first homework. Okay. So that's the first homework. Be ready for with that activity for Monday. Second, uh, you're going to write down a letter to somebody. Okay. Le pueden escribir una carta a, a alguien, a un compañero suyo. Okay. Similar a lo que tenemos acá. Okay. So over here we have Dear Tail. Come, Berkeley is a great city. I really like it here. There's always lots to do. Every day after class, I walk down Telegraph Avenue. I always like to go to my favorite coffee shop in the afternoon and meet my friends there for coffee. In the evening, there is always something interesting to do in town or near the university. For example, I sometimes see a funny movie or listen to, a, to live music. On Saturday, my friends and I usually take the bus to San Francisco for the day. I love the shops and restaurants, and it's a great city for jogging or in light skating. I'm really getting good at it. In Golden Gate Park, we always go to Christmas Town. Uh, no, that is a Chinatown, right? To have lunch. And then we go walking or shopping in the afternoon. On Sunday, sometimes I like to play tennis with friends or we watch a sports event, like a football game or a basketball game on TV. I think American football is very exciting. Well, that's all for me. That's all for now. Take care. I hope to hear from you soon. Love, Ruth. Okay, so una cartita así pequeñita. Okay, similar a lo que tenemos acá. Por supuesto, utilizando la información de ustedes. Okay. Eso es para el día lunes. Dos actividades. Okay. I, I wonder if there is any question. Not for me, teacher. Not for you. Okay, just no, to finish. What What did you get in this part? She was down Telegraph Avenue every day after class. Is that true or that is false? True. It's true. true. That's true. She meets her friends for a coffee in the evening. False. False. That is false. No, number three. She, she sometimes dances to live music. False. 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 And number four, she enjoys going to San Francisco on the weekend. True. True. And the number five, she doesn't like in like skating. It's true. And it's false. It's false. She goes shopping or walking after lunch on Saturday. True. And she plays tennis with friends every Sunday. False. She likes to watch football and basketball on TV. She likes true. to watch. True. true. That is true. Okay, let me see. 
Wow, people, I think you have done a great job in the platform. Okay, um, me voy a despedir eh, pidiéndoles de favor que siempre hagan las actividades de la plataforma, okay? Que traten en la medida de que sea posible entrar a todas las sesiones, porque acuérdense que hay un récord que ustedes tienen que, que, que guardar, ¿verdad? Un 80% de asistencia y las actividades en la plataforma. Uh, well, I think this is everything for tonight. We're going to see you on, on Monday, okay? And I hope you have a great weekend. See you on Monday, people. Thank, Thank you. you. Monday. Monday. See you on Monday. Good night. Good night. Good night.